Well, good morning to you. It is great to see you once again. We are out on the kayak in the Long Island Sound, trying to get into some stripers, flukes open, have not caught a porgy this year. Just out here fishing, having a good time. Thanks for joining me. Couldn't get anything to bite at that spot, even though there were fish. There's definitely fish there. I just didn't want to bite. So I'm gonna try and find a more active school. I think I see them right there. I'm not seeing them boiling, but can sense that they're here. And these birds are going crazy. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a bite. Fish on, first cast, first cast. <laughs> the gut was right. The gut was right. This is a striper. Yeah, a little schooly. That's what's, that's cool. That means they're rolling through. Hey bud. Yeah, very active schoolie too. He just dropped the lure. It's okay. This video is probably gonna get a little repetitive if I leave all the catches in, but these schoolies were pretty aggressive. And I think that this is the first wave of the migrating striped bass in the area of the Long Island Sound that I fish. And I'll tell you what, everything is right on time, right in sync. I've been looking at the reports from last year and the year prior, not the reports, the logs that I have, and everything is right on time, right in sync. It's actually pretty fascinating. Where these striped bass are is within a week of where I was catching them a year prior. So that just goes to show, you know, North Shore, Long Island Sound, all these, you know, structural habitats that these fish go to year after year, it is right on time and it gets me excited. Basically what I'm doing is, I don't know if you can tell, there's like a little rip forming right there. That's this hill um, and I'm getting right up on top of it right now. You can see the comorans up on top of it too, he's smart. Um, so I'm up on top of the hill, you can see a striper just uh, waked right behind me. And what the striper are doing is they're down on the bottom of this hill at anywhere between 10 and 25 feet. It drops off pretty deep there. And they're staging over there and pushing the bait up into the shallows where it's easier to kind of concentrate it. So what you kind of want to do is cast it to where uh, to where they're staging and work it back against the current. And they're sitting there waiting for it. it might be game over. I've been having some weird drive luck recently and uh, I don't know what I did. It's like bent backwards. Well, good morning to you. It is a beautiful one, nice and cool out. I'm out here in the Long Island Sound, starting off with some purple chartreuse shads. The sun is not up quite yet. Water temperature is 64 degrees. Stripers are boiling in front of me. Could be a good morning, I don't know. I'm uh, rolling the dice, as they say, and I'm going to deeper water. I had a lot of fun with the schoolies yesterday, but you know. It's nice to get some big ones and also mix it up visually so you have something else to see. See something busted on a, a bunker right there. Fish on! Oh! 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 Whoa! Whoa, brother! <laughs> Big striper, real big striper. Oh. oh, I 
think they're just just waking up. I am glad I came out to the depths now. Whoa. On that purple passion. Wow. Gotcha. Wow. That was sick. You see that blow up? That was insane. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. Sea lice. See it? It's got lice all over it. Wow, that's really cool. Sick. All right, bud. I can tell you just woke up. He's already locking onto my hand pretty bad, too. Ready? Yeah, these are migrators. So the ones that I got into yesterday were definitely migrators. Um. One of that purple. Dude, there's a ton of fish busting in front of me right now. I'm trying to get to it. Yeah, this was the right call. There is so many stripers over here right now. They're busting everywhere. One just busted right there. One just busted right in front of me. Heck yeah. Fish on, first cast, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Decent fish too, these feel bigger than the ones yesterday. Yeah, they're hyped up. Wow. Nice fish. Super nice. Let's hurry up and get this guy back. I feel like this bite's gonna be over pretty quick. But yeah, schooly size. So the rest of this day ended up being really similar to the day prior, just kind of chasing around small schoolies in the flats and uh, having a lot of fun doing it. Not not exactly sure what bait their forage they were on. I think it was sand eels. It could have been small spearing or peanuts or not really too sure, but just a lot of fun, you know, and nice to be on track with the, the first sort of wave of these migrating striped bass and uh right on schedule and uh the big girls will be around soon i would love to know the dynamic between the holdovers and the migrators like how that all goes down between the two of them because there's no bluefish around and i can just tell like the way that the the migrators act is way more aggressive fish on they're just completely different like the way they fight the runs they take I, I wonder like what how that works between the two of them like do the holdovers get more aggressive do they all gang up once the bluefish get here like how does that all go down I'm so curious um, cause this guy, yeah, he's a migrator. You can see the lice all over his tail. Um, and they're just, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe if other striper anglers can chime in here. Um, if you've noticed it as well, but they, they're just different. Well, that was just a blast. Those fish are still eating. I'm watching them right now. They're just chasing around the sand eels. I'm going to leave them alone, though. I think I probably caught around 18 in the past 
30 minutes or so. A lot of fish. I'm probably just going to edit this around. I don't want to make it too repetitive. But yeah, we still got like an hour and a half before I have to head back and go to New York City. So I think I'm going to hit up a little deeper area and maybe jig around a little more on the bottom. And But, you know, if, if nothing happens over there, I'll probably just cut the video here. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.